Hey everyone, this is my toy review on the Marvel Legends Death's Head. Now this figure isn't that big of a deal. Um, I don't think he's famous anymore. I mean, everybody knows him by the current Death's Head, but I don't have the current Death's Head. This is the original. Um, I think this was from the wave that was set out in the early 2000s. Also, yes, these are the ones I used for the Han Solo figure review. Anyway, uh, Deadpool, I will review later on. Uh, I think this is Deadpool is going to be the next review that I do after Death's Head. So, um, there will be two more reviews coming out tomorrow. Um, and I haven't been doing reviews lately. So, uh, let's get to it. So, Death's Head, the accessories it comes with is the axe and the mace, I'm guessing. This is also a tiny shield. So this is the axe that he has. Oh my god, it's amazing details. I think it's pretty amazing that they gave us gashes and everything. Mine came with a little red paint, so I hate that. But I think this is an amazing, um, amazing sculpt. I wish that they did add a bit more coloring. Uh, let me see if I can focus it. Or add more light to it. But yeah, this is a good, this is a good axe in my opinion. Uh, I like how thin it is, and it's withstained a lot. So it's, it's pretty cool. Oh, this doesn't want to focus. It's as bad as a coin. <laughs> and this is the hammer, the mace that he comes with. So this one's also pretty nice as well. Now, I think it looks pretty cool if you put it on Thor. So, let me go ahead and show you. Bam! Thor has a mace for a hammer. But of course this isn't comic book or movie accurate. Um, but this is a nice... It's a nice mace. Um, I like it. This is the shield that he comes with as well. So I like how he has gashes as well on him. Uh, pretty cool effect I'm guessing. Uh, it's pretty awesome in my opinion. I like it. Uh, I wish they added some more shadow into it, you know, stuff like that. Or at least more color to it. Um, either way, it's a good shield. Sorry, I had that away from camera. It's a good shield. I like it. Uh, it is smaller than Captain America's. So let me get Captain America's shield to compare. So of course it's way smaller. This is more of a wrist shield. So just wrist. Uh, what I do like about the shield is that you can peg it on the back of his, uh, on the back of his back. So the cape comes with two ports right there. It also comes with ports for the weapons. So you can get the mace. Go ahead and slide the mace through. Let me try to get it. Okay, so you slide the mace through. Same thing with the axe. You can go ahead, get the axe, put it there. And then, once you have it like that, you just plug it to the back of the figure. figure. And there we go. So that's pretty, that's, that's pretty cool in my opinion. I do like this, this idea. Another thing that I like about this, that you can pop off the arms, Let's see if I can do this. It won't work on camera. And you can plug in the weapons on each hand. So now he has weapons as hands, which I think is pretty amazing. Because, I mean, this is very comic book accurate, and it's pretty cool. Um, Overall, I do enjoy this figure. When I first bought him, I didn't know who he was. I read more about him, and then I read more comics with him. Of course, you gotta remember these were olds, because we don't have this kind of death's head. And if I'm wrong, just let me know in the comments. But this is a pretty cool figure. Now, um, the articulation is pretty awesome. If you have a, if you have a psych, uh, not a cyclops, a colossus. A Colossus then you know the articulation for the body this is just the same body mold that they used for him if you really lower this skirt down 
you'll see the X-Men logo there. Uh, I don't think you guys will see it. But, um, start off with the cape. The cape is removable, but it looks pretty weird because, you know, it looks like he has, a he has deep nipples. <laughs> so it's kind of weird. I like how they went all out with the paint. So they painted even on the inside. So that's, that's pretty amazing. Uh, we'll come with the details on the figure right now, but uh, I love this cape. Just look at it amazing in my opinion um, I do like that it was sculpted the lines were sculpted in I cannot find the Doctor Strange cape so I don't know where the cape is at but I will compare it on my next review anyway so this is a pretty nice cape uh, I have visions cape so let me go ahead and compare that one with vision this one with visions um, so Vision's cape is a clear plastic while this one is sculpted in. Uh, so that, that's pretty nice I think that they sculpted in a bunch of lines. Uh, the detail is pretty cool. The the red that they chose as well. The blue, it's like a metallic blue to his shoulder pads. So that's also pretty nice. Little buckle there. I like how they added a little gloss to it to make it a bit different from the yellow but I think they could have added a bit more um, the red also is not the same color as this the skirt piece red so that's that's another thing I wish that they would have colored it in they would have colored the inside of the skirt piece red come on focus okay they would have colored this skirt piece in red but it's fine then you got that underwear that blue underwear I don't know if you can see the X-Men logo. Uh, I think it's too dark. It's too dark on camera. But if you have, if you get one of these, you'll you'll see the X-Men logo. So um, this figure is pretty awesome. Uh, you have the you have the sculpting in. So I like the sculpting as well on this figure and focus camera. You have the sculpting on the figure which is amazing I do enjoy it I like the, the wrists they have the bracelets um, the back the back skirt piece is ripped off but I mean how are you gonna pose them in the back or you I mean you're gonna pose them from the front aren't you anyway um, the boots are pretty cool as well they have treads on the bottom of the feet and peg holds so that's, that's amazing uh, mine did come with a little bit of paint that wasn't painted on so it's yellow and then silver uh, I do like these those are pretty amazing the little the little spikes that's pretty amazing um, so for articulation this figure only brings in his arm it takes out his arm about that far out has rotation right there has a single joint which doesn't go in 90 degrees I wish it did go uh, same thing for the other arm. His head looks down quite far, so that's pretty amazing. His head looks up that far, so it's also pretty amazing, especially for this. Um, his ab crunch, his abs crunch about that far in, not that far. His abs do crunch back a tiny bit more, more so. So that's pretty cool. Um, his legs kick forward about that much and he stands with his leg kicking up so that's pretty cool uh, he has double jointed knees doesn't go in all the way because of the boot he has doesn't have boot rotation but has ankle rotation so he can move his ankle rotate it his ankles do move down they move up a tiny bit I don't think they move up at all and no ankle pivot because remember these are old this is an old figure um also I forgot to mention they do fit perfectly in his arms so that's it's also pretty amazing um do I recommend this figure yes I do uh it is a good figure cost me about like 
14 I think. $14. Um, ooh. I do recommend this figure. It's pretty, pretty amazing. Uh, so, height comparison. Here he is by Doctor Strange. As I said, I don't like how short Doctor Strange is. It's... Uh, I don't know. Here's Captain America. So, there is the height difference. Um, I like the height difference. Now, you also gotta remember that these are new as well. And here he is by Groot. A big vicious Groot. Um, also, Avengers Infinity War was pretty amazing. Um, I am Groot. I am Steve Rogers. Uh, so, yeah, that's my toy review for Death's Head. I think you will enjoy this figure, and you will you will like it. Um, all right, guys. Till next time with my Deadpool figures. Uh, I do recommend all of these as well. So, yep.